Hello and welcome to the Z Hut. Today we're going to take a look at these uh, super bright little 110 volt, or you can also get them in 220 volt, 50 watt LED boards with built in drivers. Now, this is the 50 watt one. This is about um, the midway, the mid sized ones. I've seen them down to 10 watts and all the way up. Uh, I think it was 120 was the biggest I seen and uh, I went with the 50 because these were cheap these were around two dollars and they don't get super hot which is nice um, actually to use one of these you do have to use a heat sink um, and some of the applications and I'll show you here in a few minutes um, you can use the item you're putting them in as a heat sink but otherwise you can just salvage an old uh, heat sink out of like um, an old stereo that no longer works, or um, a computer processor heat sink. You got one of them laying around, you can use it. Now, like I said, this is the 50 watt one, and this is the 6040 model. And you can get this, uh, the 50 watt, in both uh, 110 volt and 220. They put off the same amount of light, it's just different voltage, so there's a slightly different driver board setup. You, they have two different color temperatures. There's the the bright white and the, or the soft white and then the bright white I think it was or yeah I think that's what it was but um if you look in the description below I'll have a link to where these are and they'll have different selections you can make but uh, like I said you are going to want to have them on a heat sink and then also remember you're going to want to use your dielectric your thermal grease uh, this stuff is cheap these little tubes one of these little tubes is enough for one of these and they're, if you buy like five or ten of them at a time, you can get them for like 15, 20 cents a piece. They're cheap. Very cheap. Uh, the connections, to connect them, there's two little pads here. And you just want to be careful. You want to keep your leads nice and short when you solder them on. And uh, in a moment here, I'm going to show you an item that I have that I already made that uh, are actually put together and modified to put one of these in. And I'll show you. That you can, you'll be able to see the connections and how it's mounted. But uh, other than that, um, there's not really much else to go over. Um, like I said, they they get hot, but not super hot. It, it all depends. The, the size of the heat sink kind of depends on the amount of airflow you have. If this is going to be somewhere where there is absolutely, you know, there's no airflow, it's going to get stagnant, it's going to get hot. But with a bigger heat sink, and possibly consider having a fan somewhere, maybe even a, one of those little 12-volt cooling fans on here. Not necessary in most applications. I'm just saying if you are going to have this somewhere where there is no air movement and it's going to get real warm, I'll then possibly consider that. All right. Now, like I said, I was going to show you an application for this. i got to zoom out a little bit because we'll be zoomed in too tight to see this very well. I have one of these uh, halogen work lights, and these are the ones that uh, the bulbs, like, you look at them funny and the bulbs burn out. Well, I took and I converted this, and you can see in there, I got one of these uh, little 50-watt LED boards in there, and it's wired up, and the case for this is aluminum. And it kind of had cooling fins built into the back. Whoops. Kind of had cooling fins built into the back already. I use the case for this. You can put your hand right on the back when this is running. And it's warm, but it doesn't get hot enough. I and mean, you, you can keep your hand on there all day. It stays nice and cool. Now, if you were using the 80 watt or 100 watt in here, um, you'd still be okay. I'm pretty sure you'd be okay with the cooling. The, the, the using this as a heat sink on uh, just be a little more careful of that one of grabbing the back because you probably it's going to be a little too warm to want to grab and also remember uh on this one you can actually touch the glass in the front it doesn't get that hot hot enough to to burn you uh, it gets warm but not um not actually not even as warm as the back does but once again remember if you start putting the bigger using the bigger leds you are going to get more heat, so be careful. Um, 
Um, to de see a demonstration of this uh, and how it's put together, uh, look in the description below. I'll have a link to that too. I did a whole video on how to take and modify one of these. And um, you can look on there. I do believe I plugged it in too to show you how bright they are. But these are really, really bright for only being 50 watts. I mean, you do not want to look at this thing when it's plugged in. You'll be seeing spots for days. I mean, it's like looking at the sun. It's bright. This, this alone, um, I used it out in my garage, and I had all the other lights. Uh, I was doing some electrical work, and this is all I needed. And I've got a uh, six-car garage, and I mean, it wasn't like bright as daylight in there everywhere, but where you had it pointed was super bright, and it put it put off enough light where you could work in there with just this light alone. So, all right, I can't really think of anything else. Um, I'll move that back out of the way. Like I said, just to go over it again, uh, this is the 6040. Uh, some of them were 6040A1s. Uh, and then also some will say, like this one, AC110V-6040. And that just means it's a 110 volt version. You can get these in 220 and 110. Once again, it's just a difference in the driver board. And the driver board's built in. So, um, Lots of different things you can use these for. One of my next projects I'm going to be doing. And uh, make sure to subscribe if you want to see that. I'm going to take a treble light and do the same thing like I did like with that halogen work light. I'm going to put one of these in a treble light. And then I'm going to take another one of these. And I've got some of my old photography lights that I don't use anymore. I've got a new set. And i got some of the old smaller ones that uh, only... Or they, they took three bulbs or four bulbs. They took the... Uh, the fluorescence and I've got a feeling I could put just one of these in place of those four bulbs that were in there and it probably is going to put off just as much light so we'll see that's going to be another project down the line so make sure to subscribe uh, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and with that I guess I'll just say um, I'd like to thank you for joining us here today hope you have a great day and um, just for the heck of it here's a couple of minutes of cats chasing laser pointers